Hey guys, what's going on? Jose here. As you saw in the speed run that we did in the beginning of this episode, a little different than normal, I would definitely say, uh, we are ready to get going with the episode. So, welcome back to the episode, of course. I am excited to say we can get our farming station down. So as you can see, I've already got it. It's actually configured, I uh, or not configured, but it will be. I've actually got a capacitor here that does 100 RF per tick on it, so I'm hoping that that means it'll store a little bit more. I have a lot of fun stuff to do with this thing though, so we're going to get right into it. Uh, I just remembered one thing that I did forget to make was a uh, transfer node with a mining upgrade because I realize that one of the beneficial uh, plans of mine, at least that I'm hoping for, is that we will use some form of cobble gen to help us get stone tools. Stone tools will be substantially better as far as getting us the uh, the axe refills that our uh, our farming station is going to require. So let me get some smooth stone smelting, uh, since I will need it for the transfer node itself. And I don't suppose any of these have really any particularly important recipes in them. So the transfer node is going to require two smooth stone, and it's also going to require let me the transfer pipe. I'll grab a few of these. And two redstone. I feel like I'm forgetting something there, but I think that's it. Whoops, I don't need that or that. Sorry about that. I'm just a slight bit distracted right now. So, there's our transfer node. Now all we need is a... Well, uh, no, it's called a mining upgrade now, isn't it? I always default to world interaction, but that's not it at all. Uh, so I do want to apologize for the somewhat uh, dodgy looking key stuff going on right now. Uh, I'm working on yet another uh, keyboard that's kind of a temporary stand-in, but it's a lot quieter. Uh, and I still very much like it. So, But it does seem to not necessarily like the rollover, so I've got to see if I can look into what's going on with that, because I really don't see why it doesn't have like two or three key rollover but it definitely does not seem to want to handle it. Although actually, I'm not really sure what it is. Definitely seems like some fishy business going on, so I'll look into it later. But there's our mining upgrade. Well, hang on. I will be right back. Let me see if I can figure this out. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. It was not my cable at all. In fact, it was just a keyboard polling rate setting that I had to go fix real quick. Very interesting. Sorry, it's a new board. Uh, if you're a mechanical keyboard enthusiast, it's a magical, or uh, sorry, magical, Magic 468, and it is the silver one with Cherry MX Brown switches, which are my favorite. So, back to the topic. Uh, let's see, we have our mining upgrade. We don't really need to speed this up at all, because quite frankly, we don't I don't expect that we'll need cobblestone often at all. Let me see if I have a bucket of lava. I do not. Well, that's okay. Let me head over to the smeltery, and I'll just snag a bucket of lava. Because I'm, quite frankly, just a smidge lazy. Oh, no. Oh, well, I tried to do that, and I might actually have some iron in there. Yes, I do. I got some leftover armor, I guess? Yeah, I think it was armor, because tools don't smelt down. And so I figured with the armor it would be worthwhile to smelt it back down into the iron ingots, because I, quite frankly, really need them. I don't remember where a lava lake is down here, so it might take me just a minute, so let me find one, and I'll be back when we finally have everything we need. Coming to find out, I was right by one. So that was easy enough. We'll just grab this. Uh, yeah, I don't think I should really need to worry about getting any extras. And we'll fill that in and head back up. So I actually think I'd cut the recording like right here. So kind of embarrassing how close I was to finding that, but whatever, it'll be okay. So let me explain what all I crafted in the montage. So of course I crafted the farming station, but I also crafted a few energy conduits, because energy conduits are going to be important in order to get energy to our various machines. 
I also crafted a crafter tier 3 from RF Tools to teach crafting recipes for wooden uh, logs to planks, planks to sticks, and then sticks plus cobblestone to uh, wooden a or stone axes rather. And the stone axes will be automatically fed into our farming station. Fortunately, that's really the only thing we'll need to keep it equipped with, but I think I might try a few other uh, crops as well. So, ooh, I need food. So, with, uh, with the other crops available, uh, and readily available at least, and with the, the auto-crafting pretty much ready to handle it, I'll go ahead and incorporate a few of the more kind of pain-in-the-butt farms. So, I think mostly... At this point, that would be potato or not potatoes, uh, sugarcane, cactus, and then that's kind of all I've got planned right now is doing sugarcane, cactus, which is what the two drawers are for, and the other three are for oak saplings, oak uh, wood, and then apples. Now you've got to remember that this system is actually specifically intended for getting uh, a generator set up, so we're going to work on that stuff as well. But I kind of want to set this up. Not too distant, but somewhat distant. That way we can have um, a decent amount of space would be nice. So we can go ahead and clear out some of this grass. And I think, honestly, this should be a big enough area right here. Quite a few of these dandelions, though. Yeah, okay, so that looks good to me, except for this one. Ah, I forgot to get water. Whoops. There's water right here, though. Quite convenient. So, at this point, what we'll want to do is get our farming station placed down. And my question, I suppose, is this. I don't suppose you'd want to connect from here to here, would you? A little bit far, isn't that? Yeah. Kind of thought so. So because of that, I'm going to play it safe. What we'll do is we will do... Because I, I don't really know what the range is. So we can... Let's see. Grab our engineer's hammer here. Set that to an output. And this to an input with, oh, I'll just do this then, whoops, and then we will hook up these two to each other, and you to you, and I think this is working, yeah, there we go. And so this will give me a bit of an idea of the range. As soon as I go and grab, unless I have one, I wonder if it'll use a Matic. I think it will now. Uh, so we'll just, for testing, say, do this and that. I wonder, do you have a preference? I'm going to hope you do that. I just really want to see what the area it's going to work in. Alright, that's plenty, because I don't even want this. I just wanted to see... Uh, so this is going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is going to do 7 out. That's all I need to know. Perfect. I'll let this decay back into its soily self, like you just happened to want to. And let me just grab my torches back. So there we go. We now know it'll cover a 7 by 7, or 7 block radius. And because of that, I have a bit of a tricksy plan here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I want to move this? Maybe just a block or two back? Because if it was here, if I put it here, then move this two blocks, this two blocks, and this two blocks. I'm just doing this for a sort of like perspective scale to make sure that I've got everything done completely correctly. So now, 
the 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 fundamental curiosity of mine is this if I do let me see uh, actually and I can go ahead and put this away I'm having to test a lot because I don't actually know a whole lot about uh, the recent changes so if we set this to output and this to input oh good this works excellent it keeps me from having to make another capacitor of a different variety so I'm actually going to put this one here in the ground and so we'll put the LV capacitor down in the ground it'll have an LV wire connector on it and we will hook that LV wire connector up to our wire set wire over here and this is going to slowly but surely fill back up now we need a little bit of an area down here to work in uh, but this is kind of one of those uh, set and forget sort of areas so I am not going to really do a whole lot of cleaning it up. I'm not really going to set it up much at all. Just kind of going to dig out this area. And in fact, it's going to be rather minuscule. That's sort of just the necessity for the situation. To be honest, it's not really very logical to do more than you need to. Now, straight this way, we should find our capacitor at some point. There it is. And from here, I'll dig up because I know that that's getting into outside of the radius territory, which is preferred. So, we will have this allotted. I want you here. You can unlock that and do saplings there. And so we will have... Please trample. There we go. I'm thinking just somewhere right here for now will work. Did I make enough for that? Yeah, I definitely did. We'll want to have all of our drawers relatively pre-configured for the most part. It's not super critical that we get everything done because honestly we can uh, sort of fudge it. But we can go ahead and lock these beforehand and if we lock them before we put anything in them, then their content will not be set until afterwards, until like we set them ourselves. I'll put storage upgrades in those eventually, but I'm not necessarily worried about that either right now. What I'm most worried about is just getting a stinking setup going. So, let me put that away. Just trying to kind of clean up my inventory because it's getting to be a bit of a mess. So, we have some energy conduits. I hope we have enough. I think we might have just enough. Yep. Excellent. So, we need energy conduits, of course, for our farming station here, which is going to pick up some RF, but we also need energy conduits going into our crafter here. So the crafter is going to require two resources, and so I may or may not need to go make a few filters, but that's okay. I'm not really too, too concerned about that because they're not generally that expensive. So we're going to get our uh, generic extra utilities cobble gen uh, enforced. So we'll put our transfer node with a world interaction upgrade and you'll see we're just going to pick up a few pieces of cobblestone. I need to go get some materials in order to finish that recipe so let me grab that because I need to get actually it would probably be wise to just go ahead and get everything that I need for the remainder of my recipes here. So it will seem as though we probably are going to need to get some wood and some apples. Oh, I ate all my apples. Dang it, I didn't think about that when I was setting everything up. Oh well. I also need to get some sand for the fun cactus and sugarcane part because I don't know if that's even going to work. I haven't done it before, so we'll get to experiment with that one. And I also decided that I'm going to need an item filter or two, let me think, really I should only need one. Uh, so we'll just need a hopper and some iron for that hopper and then some paper, which I don't think is going to be a problem. Short of the fact that, that I don't have any uh, stinkins, Bleh. that's annoying. Oh, actually, 
uh, crafting compartment. These, I forgot these existed, and I should make one now before it's beyond worth. Let me get one of those, one of those, and please help me with a crafting table. These are one of the most worthwhile upgrades you can possibly get, because now I have a crafting table, which means I can do all of my crafting for uh, the, the more fun recipes on the go. So that's, that's pretty great. I am actually very glad that I remembered that I needed to do that. You see, I have a bit of an issue in that a lot of my... Uh, I do a lot of playing without recording, but I try not to do so much that, like, obviously you guys are missing out on the Let's Play part of it. So I have to very much restrict myself and kind of give myself an internal to-do list of things that I would like to get done. The problem with that is that, of course, sometimes I forget the to-do list. And... Of course, the crafting upgrade was one of the items on said to-do list, and I almost forgot. Fortunately, I remembered. So, we will light this up just a little bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and light up that hallway as well, why not? Actually, I think right there would be better. So, I, of course, decided to wait to hook this up for reasons. But if I go ahead, and I'll get that out of the way, because I know that's probably going to cause issues. If I extract on actually we're going to want this to be in out so if we extract on green redstone signal always active and if we insert on uh, we'll just do black then for this one we will do the same thing we'll do in out and we will insert on green and extract on black always active I don't think I need to set anything for that to work as far as the I.O. Of course, I need to actually get recipes in there, but that's not my major concern quite yet. And then according to the minimap here, let me get some light. This is about where I want to be. Almost. I was close. Yes, this is where I want to be. Excellent. So, we will go ahead and... There we go. Do this set these up on green as well so these are going to be insert I'm going to set them to priority negative one just because it's uh, more important to keep the crafting station filled up and other other things filled up than it is to keep these filled up these are kind of just like my excess at this point because don't forget the reason we're even doing this station is for the purpose of making EU So I am going to fill in this hole as much as I possibly can, or tunnel, or whatever you wish to call it. Whoops. And hook that up, so that'll be negative one. We'll set the insert priority for this one to plus one, and we will filter it to whitelist oak wood. And so now comes the recipe portion of the episode. So we want to, of course, and this, forgive me, I use this, but I don't use this super often, so I sometimes have to remind myself of the, the fun things. So we want to uh, remember the current items in the internal and external buffers. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Uh, so result will go into the internal buffer, and items and input slots are consumed. Keep one item in every slot. Let's do that one. And we will do that, and that will get us oak planks. And so now if I give you some oak planks, you will do that. Perfect. We'll do the same thing here. Uh, let's see. Keep one item. Internal. Apply. And that will give me those. And then now what we want to do is two things. We want to do... Uh, a hoe, which this one, let's see, all inputs, no, keep one item, once again, but we do want this one to go into the external slot, and we'll apply, and we will do the same thing, keep one item, external slot, and we will make axes, apply, uh, let's see, so now if I make a few of these,
Okay, so you will overflow. That's okay, though, because essentially what I'm probably going to do is something like this. The dirt's never going to get used up, and then the cobblestone is there. And so now all we need to do is hook up a few more transfer pipes up into this machine so that it receives cobblestone, and it seems as though we are in good shape. Now, my question here is if I break this, remove the cobblestone, therefore able to remove the hoe, okay, cool. So what I want to do, just because I am a bit of a OCD freak here, is I do want to go ahead and make another stone axe put it here forget put that there uh, put this here and do remember again and so now it will tr it will in this case optimize making all, at all times two hoes and two axes it's not really a big deal it actually doesn't make a single bit of difference but it puts my mind to rest a little bit <laughs> for for no particular reason actually and so I believe this is actually set up for the most part, short of the fact that we, of course, need some wood. Let's see if we have picked up any. I think... Oh, you are actually... I was going to say, I think I might need to set this up to in, out on the bottom, and then I just need to pick up these apples, because it's really unhappy about the apples. So let me get, tell you that you have a place for apples, and then you should be happy in the future. I believe. So, this area here seems to be the definitive line for the f farm as far as cactus goes, I think. So we might actually need to put a somewhat shorter roof on this, but that's okay. Maybe I just will do it for that little area, and we'll be okay. So I don't particularly know if this is even going to work. We're going to have to find out for ourselves. Fortunately, uh, V-Tweaks, my mod, adds a, uh, uh, was that the radius? I don't even remember anymore. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this is seven, and it'll even cover that one. I don't have, uh, or because of V-Tweaks, my mod, I actually have got a feature uh, that it adds that allows you to use bone meal on cactus. And so this will be a really good measure for testing because at this point, I don't really know if this is going to work or not. <laughs> I, I feel bad for having no clue, but I have no clue. As for the rest of our supplies, we do most definitely have some storage of apples and saplings going on. And right now, the buffer of oak wood will eventually build up once we get some more. In the uh, crafter, at least. Uh, all of my cactus is over here, isn't it? You have all my cactus. Well, give me some cactus. If I give you cactus, will you try to plant it, or do I need to plant it first? Oh, you will try to plant it. Excellent. And so now what happens? And how do you feel about sugarcane? So this seems to definitely be working. That's great news, for sure. Whoops. Because sugarcane is one of those where I could automate it two ways. I could either automate it using vanilla mechanics, which is completely doable, but also just a little bit messy. Or I could automate it however the heck I please. So I'm, I'm not really particularly sure what the best method would be for that, to be completely honest. I do, however, have my sugar cane over here, a little bit at least. Most of it's actually in my, uh, over there, that uh, nice little underground area that I made earlier. Oh, and that cactus fell off. That's actually a very valid point. So maybe what I should do then is break the cactus and put it in the back corner over here and prioritize sugarcane on this front side. I think that might be what I end up having to do. 
Of course, I know I don't have to use sand for sugarcane. I just do. I, I really... I, there's no reason. So, actually, I don't know why I just did that, because... Crud. I forgot that this was where I said I was going to put the cactus. My fault completely. Oops. So we'll just do a simple checkerboard pattern. Fortunately, I don't actually even need all that much cactus. Like, to be honest with you, I could care less how much cactus I get. I just need a little bit. In fact, I don't really even need any. I just really hate getting a hold of it. So, let me see here. I do want to get all my sand back here, at least. Not the stuff that fell. I don't really care too, too much about it, but... I should probably put a infinite spring a little bit closer, though. That's for sure. I'm also going to dump these two hoes down here, because I really don't care. Have we gotten any excess wood yet? No, not yet. That's, uh... That's surprising, actually. I really thought I would have had an excess of wood at this point. 54. Oh, maybe not. Okay, yeah. I guess that kind of makes sense. And then I shouldn't have an excess of saplings either, aside from maybe what I brought it in the beginning. Right? Because if I take all of these out, I should no longer get any more. Because I think you should probably want to plant these, wouldn't you? Or, wait, what? Why are some of these apple oak and some of these are... What? What? I'm both confused and irritated. You know what? I'm just... You've kind of seen the gist of the farm, so I'm going to go ahead and finish it up because it seems like this is going to be a really long episode if I don't. And, uh... Maybe see if I can figure out what's going on with this fishy forestry shenanigans. So I'll be back in a few. All right, so it definitely works. It definitely works. So if we keep an eye out, you'll see the cactus is getting picked up and shortly, hopefully the sugar cane will too. Yep, there we go. And that's just with this little cactus here. So kind of interesting that it sort of just does whatever, even though that's not really what's supposed to be there. So. The apple oak sapling thing is likely a bug, but I don't know. I went through, broke all of these, and replaced all of these with normal oak saplings. As it was placing them down in the world, it was placing down apple oak saplings. I know Ender.io recently integrated forestry into the farming station, so this might be it. Honestly, I, I don't care. It doesn't make a difference to me. I think uh, oak trees will grow the same any way you cut it, so... Really, I, I just, I got nothing to give a rat's butt about. Uh, but with this set up, this gives us infrastructure. Have we got a wood profit? We have 24. So that's nice that we're finally getting somewhere. I'm not sure why it's taken so long, but it just kind of seems to be taking a little while. Maybe now we'll finally be at a, uh, at a better perspective of things, but... And yes, I know this is this is not perfect, but I I will fix that maybe maybe I don't know. So yeah, for now I think I'm gonna go ahead and call that an episode. But next episode we will get our power for uh, industrial craft set up using the wood from this. Hopefully, eventually this wood here. For now, it seems like it's going to be usable for crafting and building and whatever, and that's what it'll be for in the end. But this, like I said, is on the lowest priority. So the, the, the end plan is that before it even comes to this drawer, it will go to my generators first. Now, I don't know, and you guys can leave it in the comments. I haven't actually sat down and done the math yet. If it is more EU efficient to smelt the wood before I turn it into, or before I turn it into EU, in other words, turn it 
use some EU in order to turn it into charcoal to make more EU. I don't know if that has a higher net power profit or if turning it straight into wooden planks has a higher power profit. If you know the answer, I'd love it. Please feel free to share it. Otherwise, I'll spend a little while doing some math to figure it out because I'm kind of curious for myself anyways. So yeah, I think that'll pretty much call it for the episode and I'll see you guys next time. Get hype.